<laughs> Hi, I'm back for another feed. Um, I'm going to be doing news. Give me a second. I'm kind of like sage in the air, resetting my vibration because I just did a feed. Um, I will be doing cards though. Give me a second to share this. If you're going to want a card, go ahead and drop your name. Go ahead and share this. I'll be giving away a third eye activation today. Um, I still have to announce whoever won the last video I did. I'll be getting to that as soon as I get off of here. Um, so we do give away an activation every video. So go ahead and share this. Give me one sec. My phone's been a little slow. I have a lot of like stuff hitting it right now. So go ahead and drop your name. I'm going to be doing um, Psychic Oracle cards, my usual cards that I was always doing all the time. I'm back to those today. Alright, I have my usual news to go through. Um, I'm going to do it really quickly. I'm just getting off my last share. Um, so drop your card name if you want a card. Um, share this video. If you're not catching me live, if you're catching the rerun, you guys can still share it. I don't pick the winner. Like, it's still been a few days since my last video. I'll be just picking it. So if you guys aren't catching me live, you can still share it and try to win a chance to win an activation. We're always trying to get a lot of these activations out, a lot of healing work out every day, and just a lot of energy um, to help. But I just want to say really quickly, um, because me and Angela, we are starting this new class we've been doing, Awakening to Ascension. Um, you guys can go ahead and find it, the group on here or the business page. It's Awakening to Ascension. But we're trying to tell people, um, you're not going to get like a step-by-step -step manual on how to do this. You're going to kind of have to find your own path and your own methods and your own things that work for you. Everyone is kind of like individual and in what they're going to need and what kind of things they need to do. Um, but there's no magical solution for your, no magical solution or magical pill for your problem anymore. It's going to take you doing the inner work. Um, and this is really hard. Ascension's hard. It's really for badass warriors. It's very, very hard. You guys have to kind of do this work yourselves. While I can kind of try to help and hopefully give you the energy or the tools that you guys need, hopefully you guys are going to take that and transform it and kind of work on manifesting. Um, I saw a post we had to remove about someone um, offering these magical spells or solutions for people's problems. And there is no magical spell or solution. If you're having problems in your life, um, you have to learn how to take control of your life and to create something better. If you don't like a situation, you have to actually step up and change it. And you kind of have to fix your life. There isn't any magic bottle that you can buy to solve what is wrong with you or um, what you're feeling inside. There just isn't any of those things around. So I know a lot of people are selling you that on, on that, like the pharmaceutical industry. You guys can just go get a pill and it will solve all your problems. You guys know that isn't true. Um, if something is wrong with your health or your bodies, it is like your body is a barometer and it's telling you that it's time to change. You need to change things. And I know a lot of people, um, they don't want to diet. They don't want to eat different foods. They just want to eat the same stuff and do the same things. But it's going to take some kind of work on your part. Um, we're here to change. We're here to grow. We're here to evolve. This is a school. Um, so I know I'm one of those people that don't like change either, but we're here to evolve. We're here to change and we're here to grow. And you have to do this on your own. I see a lot of people throwing out judgments on that people aren't helping them enough or aren't doing enough for them. But we have to do this on our own. No one can do it for us ever. We really have to do it on our own. And our job um, is not to be trying to do everyone's lessons for them. It's actually to be offering love and non-judgment, friendship, compassion, things like that. Um, because whenever we try to solve someone's problem and do their lesson for them, they're just going to get that same lesson later when we're not around. Um, we have to kind of respect everyone's at their own place. Everyone has their own lesson. And all we can really do um, is kind of shine a light for people. Um, man packing in Salinas, California is voluntarily recalling minimally processed vegetable products because they're contaminated with Listeria montacytogens. 
Um, that will kill you. It will cause miscarriages and even death. Um, and if you have a weak immune system, it really will kill you. I'm seeing disturbing things with our food, with the food around us. And you have to understand that that's one of the ways we're mainly attacked is through our food um, because it doesn't violate free will if we're agreeing to eat it or if we're agreeing to buy it or if we're agreeing to go get the flu shot. It's not really violating free will laws. Um, so that is one way people are targeted. Get smart about your food right now. Um, I know everyone can't afford to eat organic. If you can't, um, at least start praying over your food. Start raking your food. Try to make sure the changes that you can make. Um, you'll find that you actually can afford to eat organic once you start bu stop buying all the stuff you used to buy. A few days ago a meteor lit up the Connecticut sky. Um, but this happened during the day. It's the only reason that I care to put it on my news because we know we're having meteor showers right now but this was a daytime event so it's really rare. Um, this was a big event. Um, it was a spectacular event. Onlookers thought that it was a space fireball that was going to hit the planet, um, and they described it as really amazing. Fake Milena actually made the real news. Um, I know a lot of you guys see these kind of articles because we're in these consciousness groups and we're seeing all these posts and everything. So I know you guys have probably been seeing the fake Milena posts going around. Um, but this is actually making the real news. How they, They're saying conspiracy theories say that Milena Trump was using a body double last week. Um, Twitter and Facebook have had a lot of posts about it. Um, I'm seeing, I don't really want to go there, but I might. But I see a lot of characteristics, especially with like Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, where they have these little clone movements where um, you'll be watching them do their speeches and then they'll start twitching around or making these weird eye movements. And the same thing um, with the president, President Trump's son, where he's real twitching and they said maybe he was autistic. These are more like clone movements where they're not very good clones. Um, apparently we have another Bible prophecy going on, which I love. It's like there's one going on every week, I swear. Um, so we have a new one. <laughs> Psalm 83, some people say it's cultic. We have um, Hamas attempting to join forces with Iran to wipe Israel out. They're saying this is a Bible prophecy too. Um, and they're saying it's like a prophecy alert. All right, France just authorized a controversial insecticide, which experts are warning could put the bees in extinction. Um, they're referring to it as bee mageddon. We have the government financing finances deteriorating once again. The Feds just posted a six 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 billion deficit for 2017. Um, I was joking around like that's the bill they gave us too. Like here's the bill six 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 billion. Um, they now say millennials are ditching religion for witchcraft and astrology. Um, I didn't really like that news piece though. I felt it kind of was being spun for an agenda. Massive animal die-offs are increasing around the world. I just put a really good post up um, on one of the sites about this. Um, according to a new study, drastic insect numbers are falling and it could cause an ecological Armageddon. Let's see. California had a drill to prepare 9.3 million people for an inevitable mega quake. Um, I keep posting about this stuff. It's only a matter of when. I think it's going to be a different fall line than they're preparing everyone for. I keep on um, trying to to warn everyone about a few other fault lines. Um, NASA just came out with a press release stating that it had discovered unmistakable evidence of a ninth planet in the far extremities of space um, orbiting the solar system. The planet is surmised to be 10 times the mass of Earth. Um, they're basically saying they had a disclaimer that it isn't Nibiru, but a lot of people are saying that it definitely is the way they're talking about it, or Planet X, which are actually two different entities, but NASA doesn't seem to... They seem to talk about them like they're one entity. Um, anything that comes from NASA, I just look at like fake news anyway, which is really sad because I know a lot of people are still trusting NASA as a good news source and things like that, but they're never putting out accurate information. Um, drop your name if you're going to want a card. Go ahead and share this video for a third eye activation. Um, I'm always giving away activation every time that you guys uh, share a video. So enter the contest and I announce the winners always on this page. I have a different audience because I'm up at a different time of day today. Um, I was kind of like, I made myself breakfast. I was practicing some more self-love. Made myself breakfast, um, stayed in bed longer, things like that. Um, we should be resting up right now. We should be meditating and getting ready because um, I can tell just by looking at the calendar every month when things are going to start to get crazy. So we want to be resting up like for the next week or so um, because starting with Halloween, um, there's going to be a full moon on the 4th. So if you look at the calendar, starting with Halloween, things are going to get crazy energetically. So you guys might want to rest.
rest up, meditate more, unplug, go within. I reinvamp. Patience and planning. Um, don't make any huge decisions right now. Like I said, um, I just did a feed for my mystery school of Alanis, and um, we shouldn't be like trying to do crazy things right now. We're getting ready to get harvested. Um, this is an ascension. This is what we're going through. So we shouldn't be making any crazy decisions. We should be thinking about things a lot more consciously too and learning how to make better decisions. And then real quick, if you guys are going to, I had to insert this somewhere. If you guys are going to want me after, the link is above for our site. We do like healing work, readings. We teach Reiki, all sorts of things. Check our site out um, if you guys need me after. Nicole Hart, good morning. Emotional withdrawal. This is like my card for the day. Um, I had to really work myself up to get up today. I, I just wanted to kind of chill and spend time alone. So now it's time to unplug, meditate, spend more time with your thoughts. We're really manifesting amped up right now. Um, we have a lot of solar flare activity um, within the past few days too. And we're kind of like going through these geomagnetic storms. So we should be kind of unplugging, being very careful with our thoughts. I'm really trying to reprogram myself um, because anyone who is imprisoned here, it isn't, um, it isn't the elite's fault. It's actually ourselves and it's our mind. And we imprison ourselves with our thoughts and our own negativity. So humanity is really kind of learning how to reprogram ourselves to being positive, to having um, positive thoughts about ourselves and others. And that's where we're at. If you want to get out of here, um, start to be more positive. So just really withdraw meditate more, unplug, um, spend more time alone if you can. We're always trying to help everyone else and we need more time um, with ourselves as well. Brady Duncan, prophecy again, right? I get real excited when I see these kind of Bible prophecies. Um, I'm not really into the Bible and things like that, but I'm very into Bible prophecy. Um, so I'm really excited. Brittany's coming to me with a higher awareness, um, which is really amazing because a lot of people um, aren't understanding my message or might not be vibrating on the same frequencies, but I'm noticing the people that are vibrating on the same frequencies, and it's pretty amazing. You can tell um, where you're at by who you're drawn to you. We should all be vibing the same. Um, I'm really putting the vibe out too that I only want people with their third eyes open to come to me or people that almost have their third eyes open or at least are working on it and things like that because I really just want to be able to um, have people understanding me well. Sue Hannah. Yes. Um, the best thing we can do for people is to offer people love, unconditional love. So many people are so judgmental about the circumstances and just want to give advice and say you should have done this, you should be doing this, you should be doing this better. And you're not understanding um, that everyone's doing the best that they can and um, you are actually one with everyone. And so if someone um, is in a situation, you would be in that same situation. You better believe you wouldn't be able to do anything differently. Um, so we really need to have compassion, we need to have understanding, and we need to offer love. Um, because love heals people um, for so long we were being negative with our actions and that really just brought everyone where we're at now and now is a time where we come together and we all heal and we offer love and um, it's pretty amazing to see that happen around me I had um, kind of a negative post we just got rid of in New Earth this morning and um, we're trying to really clean up the New Earth group we just got like a couple more administrators. We're really trying to keep it a really high vibe, good place to vibe. And we really do try to work really hard at like keeping it a certain vibration. Um, but just be aware um, that literally a lot of people need you right now. And it's not in the way people think these egoic arguments or waking people up or things like that. Um, those are all coming from ego. Um, we're here to serve. We're here to love. We're here to understand. We're here to listen to people. Um, you know, we're here to... How about just listen without offering advice or judgment or anything like that? Just listen openly. Um, that's what people need right now because that will really heal them. More compassion, less ego, basically. So, Sue. Truth. Um, we're here for truth. This is just my truth. And um, I know a lot of people haven't gotten to this place, but I'm open to everyone's beliefs. I think, you know, maybe you guys have your own amazing beliefs. And I'm open to that. So people are pretty open to my beliefs because I'm open to theirs. So a lot of people are really closed to other people's beliefs and they're not understanding. Well, why is everyone so closed to my beliefs when I try to tell them about them? Why? Well, just be really open to other people's beliefs um, because everyone has their own universe right here. My world's completely different than yours. Um, it's always going to be. But um, have more compassion and just know that truth is kind of like a bridge between these universes. Let people speak their truth. Um, try to listen more. Try to have more compassion. Jennifer Owens, good morning. Um, I'm trying to help everyone uh, manifest more abundance into their lives. Um, I really like this card, Material Harvest, because it's really where I'm at. And a lot of people don't understand um, that these kind of things are energetic. 
and we should be um, attuned to the right frequencies and those are of love and abundance. We should be just in complete abundance all around us all the time. It is our birthright um, and it's our original frequencies. So I'm really trying to teach people um, to spend their energy on manifesting, to focus on what they want, not the things they don't want to happen and things like that. Letting go of fears so that we're not manifesting those and kind of focusing on um, what we can create here and what we can change. Ali Menez, good morning. You're working on your third eye too. Coconut oil is really good for your third eye. Um, anyone who's working on our sh on chakras, we do chakra openings on our site where we like scan you, we remove energetic blocks. We do chakra openings, but then I have a class as well on chakras, um, which is pretty amazing. We're trying to teach you guys to learn how to keep your chakras clear. Um, this is the new body type. This is where it's at. We have to keep all of our chakras open, clear, and aligned. So just keep on working on your third eye. You have lots of options around you to help you do that. See, Sahib, good morning. Yes, finances. Do I believe in alchemy? Well, I've been doing it in my real life. You can actually, as you know, merge your soul together with another person. It won't work with just anyone, as you know. But um, I am in a twin flame union, and it's quite possible to um, do a spiritual alchemy of sorts, which would be to merge your soul back into one. Um, that's the really the only alchemy I'm familiar with, but this is an alchemical process we're going through. Um, alchemy is to change light into gold and that's what we're going through right now all the bad qualities that are within us are being kind of taken out of us and all that is going to be left is those divine qualities all that will be left in people is love is divine love that essence um that's what's at the core of all of us so we're kind of going through an alchemy um and i'm going through an alchemy of sorts too where i'm learning how to balance to live in peace, love, and balance um, with my twin flame, which is a separate kind of alchemy. Um, but it is possible for people to come together. People are like chemicals, and it will change the consistency of both people. That's what's happening with me and my twin flame. We each had our own kind of energy, and it's really changing our energy. So there's alchemy going on all around us. Um, but then you get this card for the healer. As you know, you're an energy worker. You're a healer. Um, I'm drawing all the healers back to me, too. We're kind of healing and learning um, about our abilities and gifts. That's where we're all at. Teresa Jacobs, you are not allergic to wheat. No one is actually allergic to wheat. Guess what it is? It is actually the Roundup that they're spraying on the wheat that is irritating your stomach. So suddenly everyone isn't allergic to wheat at all. No one is. It's actually the chemicals on the wheat. That's what they're not telling you about. Um, everyone should stop eating wheat because it's being sprayed with Roundup, which, it, which is a cancer-causing carcinogen. Um, so all of your cereal has really bad ingredients in it, all those cereal bars, everything you love, because everything is pretty much made with flour. Um, I tell people to avoid wheat anyway because it's like a drug. It has very bad energy effects on people. That's why they make beer out of it. Um, and I put up a post the other day about if everyone would stop um, drinking, doing drugs, smoking cigarettes, and drinking caffeine, basically they would have no way to control humanity, and it's so true. Um, it's so terrifying, yet so true. Um, but wheat is just like a drug. That's why they actually make alcohol out of it. So try to avoid wheat. Um, I try to avoid a lot of foods um, on purpose just because I'm really aware of what's going on with our food. Try to eat organic foods. If you're eating a lot of vegetables, scrub them good or soak them in like a vinegar. Make sure that you're getting the, the spray off of them because I see a lot of people getting cancer that are vegan or vegetarian especially. Um, Teresa, nostalgia. It's part of this process. You're not going to get through ascension without looking back on your life, reflecting on things, having memories surface, having old kind of childhood things come up, past life things, all sorts of things to heal. Um, when you're seeing these memories, send love to yourself when you were there. Um, this is a shamanic healing technique. It will help you um, get back soul fragments that way. Amber Marie, throat chakra. Um, you were working on speaking your truth. This card goes really good with the um, solar plexus as well for empaths. It's like a package deal. You guys get to work on your solar plexus and your throat chakra. They come together um, because it's just the way it works. So a lot of empaths are now working on their throat chakra, including me. Um, I'm learning how to speak my truth. It's really hard for me because I prefer, um, you know, to be chilling by myself, not on live feed. So it's kind of outside of my comfort zone. Um, step outside your comfort zone. Share your truth. It's just so liberating for yourself. Um, keep on working on your throat chakra, but also also your sacral. Jamie McDonald. The universe is a really big place. 
Um, I'm an Indigo Starseed. Um, among other things, I have a little resume like all of you guys do. So we've been many forms, we've been many exciting things, um, and we're figuring out the universe is maybe a big place, and that maybe things aren't what they seem here. Um, keep working at raising your vibrations so that you can tune in to your galactic family. Yvette Walsh. Um, spiritual union. And this is for everyone who hasn't got a card yet around me. Um, I don't know what your relationship status is, but if you're not in a relationship or if you're looking for a relationship, work on yourself more um, because you're going to come into a spiritual union with a twin flame or a soulmate or some kind of divine union. So keep on working on yourself and healing yourself so that you can kind of magnet that to you. Crystal Higabotham. Yeah, NASA's job to cover up. I know. Everyone's like, oh, NASA said the news. I think that's amazing. They may have had to come out and say it finally because it's becoming so obvious um, <laughs> that our weather is off the charts and things are happening around us. Um, it's just going to become more and more obvious. So you're seeing more and more truths being exposed. Um, you're also seeing a lot of things that are truths being attacked, like, oh, that's fake news and things like that. Use your internal um, intuition as your judgment. Use that um, to lead you and to help you navigate through all of this information because there's so much information, but yet so much misinformation everywhere. So really tune in and start to use your intuition better. And Krista, you were working your heart chakra, um, which is probably... <sighs> Where like 60% of humanity is, maybe not from death in this life, but we've all lost loved ones in our past. We've all had very painful past lives as well. So we have a lot of grief and trauma that we're working on um, in that area of our energy field. Just keep on working on your heart chakra and dealing um, with any grief or any past life stuff. Annie F. Smith. Good. I'm glad you shared. What is cutting you off from the flow? Um, it can feel like we're kind of disconnected right now because of this energy. I kind of feel like I'm out of the flow maybe a little bit today, but we've never been more in the flow, like literally. So it can feel like we're disconnected or we're out of it, but we're actually getting more and more tuned in. Um, and you can just really tell. Norm Saunders, you're working on your base chakra. Um, which is pretty amazing. Hopefully I'm helping you guys let go of some of this fear. Um, someone really came to me in a fearful kind of way. A family member of mine was asking about the earthquake because they live um, in that region. And I told them <laughs> in a very kind of higher dimensional way. I was trying to put it like in a 3D kind of way. That there is a divine order to everything that's happening. People aren't just dying. They're not just being wiped out. And it doesn't work like that. Um, everyone planned out their lives before they came here. So we all planned out everything down to a T. So we have so much fear. Like, oh my God, is this going to happen to me? Oh my God, doomsday kind of fears. But let go of that. Um, because you actually planned out your life before you came here. And there is a divine order. Um, the people being affected in these events need these lessons. So work on your root. Katie Moore, love begins. Um, once you love yourself completely, it will reflect in all areas of your life. That's why I get a lot of love back because I'm always putting a lot of love out. So it's kind of like a reflection. You'll get whatever you're putting out. Um, put more love into yourself, more love out um, so you can find this love and manifest it. Angela Miller. Foundation Achievements. This is like the Twin Flame card too um, with the rainbow and new beginnings. And this is what humanity is gearing up for. Um, it's all about balance. At one point in time, we lived in balance. We lived in harmony. Um, the entire planet was balanced and it was a really beautiful place. And now we're working on coming um, into balance again those divine masculine and feminine qualities because for my entire life the feminine was really suppressed and taken out of things and now we're learning how to live in balance and it's really beautiful um but it's also challenging because we're learning how to do this for the first time in a really long time just work on more balance in your own life Yvette Walsh recognition and reward um it's like the universe is telling everyone take a break you guys are doing a good job rest now for the next week i'm telling you guys rest up until like halloween um you might want to rest up it's just the way the energy is so that you're not exhausted later when you can't sleep because we know that the moon comes close and it affects our sleep cycle so some people are already complaining because i pay attention to everything about i can't sleep good already so they might be in for a rough time for the next week or week and a half so try to rest up now if you can you're doing a good job um, we can relax. We can take care of ourselves when we need it. Yolanda Gisela. Sacral. You're working on taking back your sexuality and your power all in one movement. Um, a lot of people play the victim. Um, I used to too. 
the whole first half of my life. And we don't realize in doing that, we're giving away our power completely. Um, so now we're taking back our power. Um, and that's where all that creative energy comes from. That's kind of where our chi is or our life force energy. Keep working on strengthening that and keep working on your sacral. Timmy Boyd. Balance. Like I said, this is a time of balance where we're going to have um, both polarities coming together, working together, merging together, and getting along. Um, and it's pretty amazing because we were such an unbalanced planet before, and we're now just kind of coming into and waking up in balance. So work on more balance in your life. Work on getting better sleep, eating better food, taking better care of yourself, and getting better rest. Leah Congerton. Rest and rejuvenate seems to be the theme for the day, right? <laughs> I'm like, unplug, go out into nature, meditate. It's getting cold out. A lot of people are about to get cooped up. I didn't even tell you guys, UK, I have a lot of viewers in the UK. Maybe not now because I'm kind of late for my broadcast, but I do have a lot of international viewers in all different types of places, Australia, the UK, Canada, everywhere. And the UK is going to get hit with a really bad winter. We already have these kind of storms gearing up. So if you live there and if you can, get outside now, get out into nature, because we're all going to be kind of cooped up and just know that this time of year is to let go of things we should be letting go of anyone and anything not serving us becoming lighter and letting go i've been doing a lot of cleaning out my closet cleaning out my house letting go of things i'm not using in my life things like that um kind of declutter right now because we're all going to be kind of cooped up and you know that spring is about regeneration and rebirth so this time of year, we should really be taking an inventory and letting go of things. This is the time of year where everything dies. Um, let go of those relationships that aren't serving you. Let go of those people that aren't loving you the way you deserve to be loved. Let go of toxic people. Annette Haveri. Conflict and defeat. Um, part of this is to surrender. I know I had to surrender to the universe once, and then I had to surrender again to my flame um, in a kind of way. It's like part of the surrender reunion kind of steps. Um, so work on surrendering to the universe. It's just so much easier um, just to ask for help sometimes. And guess what? Our angels and our guides will not ever help us pretty much unless we ask them out loud. So everyone should just say, by the way, I want my angels help. Because they will not interfere with free will. So until you ask, you might not be getting the help that you need. Um, but we have so much help available. All you guys have to do is ask. Rhonda Clark. Crazy Scorpios. Oh, I have so much Scorpio in my sign. I have um, Scorpio. I like water signs the best. Um, I love Pisces, I love Cancer, I love Scorpio because um, water signs are just really intuitive and tuned in and I've always had um, different gifts and abilities so it's pretty amazing because I kind of vibe with those signs. I've always had a Pisces fascination even since I was asleep because I have similar kind of empathic gifts and abilities. Um, so we're getting ready for Scorpio season, yes, Halloween, um, which is kind of my favorite. We're going to dress the dog up like a lion, he'll probably eat the lion thing. Um, and we're going to do some cute little Halloween stuff. So I'm excited for Halloween. Um, and then everything will start to get crazy immediately. Um, so I think you guys should be resting up right now until like Halloween. This is just what I'm doing in my own life. I've been saging a lot. I have candles going. I'm making my energy nice and calm. And I'm spending time thinking about what I want to create and what I want to manifest. Um, and if you guys are looking for something that you want to do, um, we have these classes available. You guys can join our chakra class, things like that. Um, take time for yourself right now. Take time to take time out and to be learning, to be meditating, and to be investing in yourself and yourself energetically. So Rhonda, take time to unplug. Um, we need more time with ourselves too and our thoughts. Trisha, of course you get a card. You are waking up. The matrix is not what it seems. You're also being sucked into a lot of places right now. You're being sucked into these systems, and that's how it all comes together. Um, I feel like you're really dissatisfied with these systems. If you're not, you should be. Um, maybe you're not yet, but you should be. You should be very dissatisfied, and that's how this all will come together because so many people have had negative experiences in these systems and um, with healthcare and the things going on in whatever way. Um, everyone just has their own experiences, and that's how it comes together as a whole. So you're kind of getting sucked into the matrix right now, into that 3D kind of stuff. Um, just kind of suck it up and deal with it. This is your job as a light worker. Um, it's better you than someone else. So just kind of deal with it. Um, and just be aware that things are not what they seem. But you already know that. Patricia O'Neill. 
suffering in silence. Um, you are never in silence. We're so deeply connected that I can send you healing energy activations anywhere in the world. And um, they're just as effective, if not more effective, because I'm actually able to kind of purify my energy better not being in the facility of vicinity of someone. So we're so deeply connected that I can heal you with a thought um, just from wherever I am across the world, which is pretty amazing. So we're all really deeply connected. We're all really tuned into each other too. Um, that's how, you know, if you've ever had your friend um, where, you know, you just thought of them and called them and they were like, oh my God, I was going to call you. Or, you know, you just knew what someone was going to say before they said it. We're really tuned into each other. Humans are meant to be really empathic and connected to each other. So be aware of that, that we're deeply connected. Um, you're going to be pulling your soul family back to you too. This can be really lonely, um, part of the journey. We feel like we're so alone, but you're actually starting to magnet your soul group back to you. That's what I am to a lot of you guys. I'm really particular about the vibes I'm putting out, and I just kind of want to vibe with my soul group. So you're going to start to pull um, more and more of your soul tribe back to you. Tracy Rayner. Financial and material changes, um, literally for the better. Um, anyone who is watching my feed, it tells me something about you spiritually and where you're at, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm drawing the 144,000 back to me. These are the light workers of Atlantis. Amazing souls, amazingly gifted souls. So everything's going to change. We're going to um, take control of things in our own life and we're going to manifest and choose to manifest abundance because I'm sick of living in the lack, I'm broke, I'll never have enough kind of poverty mindset where I'm always sick, I'll always be dying and needing to go to the doctor for some more drugs and you know all this great stuff. I'm not buying that reality anymore. I'm going to leave it there um, and I'm going to try to exit and build my own reality around me and that's where a lot of people are at. That's where we're all kind of joining up from and it's pretty amazing. Christine Holiday. I'm trying to stay on here like a good amount of time too because I haven't um, been live as much. I've been kind of crazy busy on Mondays, so I haven't been live yet this week. So Christine, work on your heart chakra. Um, like I said earlier, a lot of us brought a lot of pain and grief with us from our past life experiences. And it's so hard. Um, that's why energy work can be pretty amazing because a lot of times we're not really aware of this. Um, I want to tell you how amazing your body is. Where literally... Um, Anything, any kind of genetic information from your parents or your family is stored in your energy field. If you feel that you're predispositioned to things like diabetes or heart disease, sure, it's encoded in your energy body, in your energy field, like instructions. It's kind of like a manual for your DNA. But you can completely get rid of those things. You can remove them. You can recode things. Um, and you can completely transform your energy while you're here. We don't have to be stuck in those systems. Just because we were born into them doesn't make us slaves. Doesn't mean us stuck in that paradigm. Um, so we have a lot more power and control over ourselves energetically. Um, keep working on your heart chakra. Anyone who um, got a chakra card would probably benefit from a chakra opening from us at some point. Um, check it out. Keep working on that past life stuff. We do like a past life healing package as well, too. Cindy Lynn, light. Um, you have enough light to light up this world. Like I just said, we're the 144,000 light workers from Atlantis. Um, and uh, we literally have enough just to regenerate and to heal and to transform this whole planet. Um, person by person, situation by situation. So just stay light, um, stay bright. A lot of people are being tested right now. A lot of people um, are being given abilities and powers and gifts of all kinds and you're being asked to make a choice right now which one you want to serve do you want to serve the light or do you want to serve the dark because you know you can follow that path the dark is always recruiting just like the light is um but you're going to be tested right now to see if you're service to self right now or service to others and it's so important that we only use our abilities to help others um, I try to only use my gifts to help people or I'll be very careful about the kind of questions I'm answering to see if they are very service of others. So you have to be really careful with your abilities right now because you're going to be shown more and more. Um, but we have to be very, very careful because there's traps and tricks all around us. This is a school. It's kind of like an obstacle course. Just be very careful that you're being service to others right now. And guess what? That will magnify your gifts. It will amplify them so fast. Um, that's how I'm growing so fast energetically is I just put myself out there and I'm always here to help if anyone needs me. Um, but it's helping me evolve really fast. It's helping me become um, stronger in my abilities. Lindy Mia. Triumph. Um, you can do anything you want right now. 
I know people are telling you like, this is your life plan, you have to do this, but that's not true. We have free will. We can create anything we want right now. Um, the whole point of this matrix is love though. Um, it is so that you can reunite with your beloved and believe it or not, you're only meant to be with one person. So I know a lot of people are like, no, I'm great. I'm great. Your soul knows. Um, and a lot of you guys are getting with that person right now into that spiritual union. If you're not already, I'm seeing the most beautiful love around us um, everywhere. It's pretty amazing to watch. So you can manifest anything you want. Keep in mind that love is the only thing real here, but you can create whatever you want and do anything you want within reason. Um, so get out there, um, make a list of things you want to manifest, maybe a vision board, get more specific with the universe. Think about what you guys really want to be creating right now. Angela Love, good morning. Um, I know I'm mentioning our class. Um, I'm going to be putting links below it too. Um, like I said, Angela Love and me are doing a chakra class. It's called Awakening to Ascension. I'm going to be posting links below for it. Um, if you guys want to join it, you can just search it, Awakening to Ascension on here. There's a $33 fee, but we're teaching people how to take control of their lives, to manifest, to keep your chakras clear, things like that. You get lifetime access, um, which is a really good deal. So we're trying to teach you guys. We're trying to show you little pointers that really worked um, for us energetically. I'll be drop in links below I did mention it though um, and I'm also inviting everyone on my friend list to the page I mean yeah, Angela this is your you got a wished card today um, I always tell people this is like you got a free wish think about it wisely this is like the universe telling you you get one wish today um, think about what you want wisely and put it out there to the universe and you're guaranteed it Victor Alvarez harmony um, peace, love, and harmony is the goal. We're working at coming into harmony with ourselves, um, like I said, so we can come into spiritual union with another person, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to be letting you guys go out early on that note because you guys can tell I'm a little withdrawn today. Um, I am here if you guys need energy work, though, and I will be here um, helping with the groups and stuff. So um, if you need me, the link is above, and I'll go ahead and drop the information for our class below um, and see you guys soon.